Sunday morning in Invercargill and they're having this um, parade for the um, pipe band. They had the national competition over the last couple of days and I think um, New Zealand is the second in the world for the last few years running, which I didn't realise. So this is really cool. They're all um, getting prepared now to do their rounds and there's just a street full of them. We're just grabbing a coffee and we're gonna head around the corner and um, watch the parade. Like I'm a huge fan of um, live music. I just think these guys, you know, when they play live music, they've been um, practicing for hours and hours and hours and hours. And you've got to appreciate that. And this, um, you can you can feel this music. It's amazing. And the more bands that go past, the bigger the crowd gets and the happier the crowd gets. It's just amazing. It's an amazing atmosphere. I'm just really blessed to be able to see this today. And these guys are um, still. This is part of the competition. There's um, there's guys in kilts with clipboards that are assessing how they wander up and down the streets playing their music. It's just fantastic. I didn't realise um, how how um, Scottish Dunedin and Invercargill are. They, they're virtually Scottish. There's so many people in their full Scottish regalia today. And even um, the last um, yesterday when we we seen a few cruising around in all their, their Scottish gear. It was kind of interesting. And I tell you what, if you like knees, there's plenty of really nice knees around. Um, yeah, yeah, very lucky today. Ruby's still in bed. Um, of course, it's a little bit early for her to get up. Um, this is nine o'clock this started, so we've got another hour or so to go um, of it. And I'm just really thoroughly enjoying um, people and the atmosphere in Invercargill. It's great, great.